Maserati dealer during a grand finale celebration going on now and have your first payment waived on select models. Morongo is made for everybody. For you, it's some good times and great food while meeting some great friends. Then again, the slots are always calling. So you find your favorite game. Morongo is for you. Morongo is made for everybody. Morongo, good times for everybody. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 4.30, home for the holidays, LAX going to be packed today as thousands of people head to the airport. We're live with the latest. And a deal was reached to end the statewide UC strike, but not everybody's happy about it. The latest efforts to encourage workers to vote against it. Plus, a key witness in the trial of rapper Tory Lanez goes missing ahead of his court appearance. Good morning. The time is 4.30. I'm Rachel Brown. And I'm Leslie Sykes. John Gregory is off today. Leslie Lopez is here with the forecast for the week. Hey, Les. Hi. Good morning. I know. Look at this. It's cold outside. I don't need to tell you if you're walking out the door right now or if you're bundled up underneath the blankets and you can just feel that it's cold. It is. We have a frost advisory setting up for Calabasas all the way out towards Glendale. A lot of the valley, a lot of areas right along our San Fernando Valley too. So this is going to go through about 9 o'clock this morning. Protect your pets and your plants before you head out to work. Make sure that they have a place that's nice and warm and they're uh, going to be safe from the cold. Also downtown Los Angeles we're back to about 65 degrees. Heading out towards our inland uh, Orange County communities around 63. Also, the Inland Empire in those valley spots will climb up to about 65 degrees today. And if you are traveling out towards the coastline, 61. The mountains will get up to about 43. The high desert's about 53 degrees today. All right, have a wonderful one. Happy Monday, everybody. Uh, how was your weekend? Scott Reif in Air 7 HD. Tell me all about it. It could not have been <laughs> better. My son and I went to the Chargers game last night. They oh, beat good. the Titans. Oh. So that means they're pretty much in the playoff mix. So that that was fantastic. Super. And, uh, you know, How I was blessed. Fun. It couldn't have been any better, really. So there we go. Uh, we can almost say that about the traffic. Now that big accident at 10 East at, uh, in Upland at Euclid cleared. We're going to go to a map, though, on the 118. We're Charlie's trying to figure out exactly what's going on here. It's on the 118 freeway as you travel eastbound at the 405. So not a lot of volume there at all. The incident where a vehicle hit the center divider, spun out, blocking the carpool lane. Could be injuries here because we see a little bit of a westbound delay. Makes us think some emergency equipment's on the eastbound side. So give yourself maybe just a little extra time on the 118 at the 405, but we'll update you on that, and I think it'll clear rather quickly. Besides that, very quiet. Caltrans Monitor 10 at Tippecanoe. Uh, that looks great. No access reported on that stretch of the 10 freeway. Leslie? Thank you very much, Scott. The peak holiday travel days are here. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Pulliam is live at LAX with what you need to know if you're heading to the airport. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Leslie. Well, everything is arriving and departing on time. That's good news, but take a look at look at these lines here. The holiday travel rush is here. LAX expecting large crowds each day leading up to Christmas and after New Year's Day. Unbelievable. The airport estimates it could see a daily average of 200,000 people. One reason for the crush of travelers is the celebrations of Christmas and Hanukkah are within the same time frame this year, and then Kwanzaa starts next Monday. Uh, travelers are telling us what they are seeing. A lot more people and a lot more hectic than, than years before. I've traveled for 30 years and it's never been like this, never. But I guess it comes with, with the holidays. Everybody wants to get home to their families and do their own thing. Hopefully I got here early enough and I'm just going to be prepared going through security and hopefully it'll be a breeze. LAX is encouraging people to arrive early, book your parking reservations in advance, or take advantage of the LAX flyaway shuttle bustles to the terminals. Back out here live, you can see the Delta terminal. Everything is arriving on time. It is always a good idea to check the flight status ahead of time. We are live here at LAX. Tim Pulliam, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Tim, we hope it stays that way. Thank you. New this morning, President Biden released a plan on homelessness as the national 
national homeless population increased slightly this year. Roughly 582,000 people are homeless here in the United States. That's increasing about 1% since 2020. In LA County, we saw roughly 4%.